to the, another episode of the Daily Poll. It's season three. Actually, it's not. It is for you though, because this video is not being published until January 12th. Tomorrow, for you, I'm gonna publish the first video in the arena, but I'm actually recording this on Saturday the 10th. So, I have just been to the grocery store with my mom, and we got some pretty awesome stuff, and I'm going to be doing the Will It Soda Taste Test Challenge. So what I have here is I have, uh, I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but this is uh, just seltzer water, or just plain carbonated water, essentially soda with no flavoring. And then I have these powders that you put into water for lemonade, grape Kool-Aid, and Gatorade, fruit punch flavored. And then I have the three cups. And we are going to be turning each of these that are supposed to be made in water in soda. So, thus the name, Will It Soda Taste Test Challenge. So I'm going to empty each of the powders into their cups here, which you can't quite see on screen. There we go. Get in their Gatorade powder. Okay, put that back off camera. Then the lemonade one, two here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some scissors. And I'm back. Cut here. Throw that away. Where's my trash can? Let me put my trash can. Okay, I have my trash can. Throw that away. And the lemonade powder. Okay. Throw that away. What else? Throw the Gatorade one away. Now the Kool Aid one. Okay. So let's see here. 17 fluid ounces. Yeah, they're all 17 fluid ounces. So let me see here. What's 17 fluid ounces? Holy shoot. I don't even know if I have that much. Let's. So how many quarts is that? Oh, yeah, I have enough. Okay. So let's open up the. So yeah, this isn't just plain water. That, that's a lot of. That's a lot of carbonation right there. Holy shoot. That is. That's carbonation. For the big leagues here. So, holy crap. I never thought I would see carbonation like this. So let's pour this. Careful, carefully. I'm not going to do it on camera because then I have to hold both of them up and I will spill it. So let's fill this up to the 16 fluid ounce line. There we go. And let's pour it in first the Kool-Aid. Oh no no no, don't come right over it. Come on. Work with me here guys. Okay, so it looks like it only needs 8 ounces in each instead of the 16 that it said. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, and if you can't tell, this thing is like root beer fizzing. Like, well, I can tell from the Kool-Aid one, it has like this ultra bubble effect. The lemonade just bubbled up, but then just dissipated. And this, my, my two liter jar is still bubbling from when I first opened it. That's insane. I, then again, I've never been around seltzer water before, so pure carbonation is not my thing. But now it is, or soon it will be, so let's do this. And I do apologize, I did have to change the camera angle, which made it where you can see a little bit of my room in the background there, just ignore that. Um, and then here we go, this is only half as full so I can do this on camera, for the Gatorade, oh well, don't overflow, don't overflow. 
there we go. So the seltzer water has been poured, and I'm going to drink them in the order that I poured them, or at least a little bit of them. My clock is going off, but I think my clock just like, it, it got something wrong. So yeah, you can see the Gatorade one is still, yeah, carbonated Gatorade. I, I wonder how this is going to be. Okay, first up, Kool-Aid soda. And I will be rating these um, on a scale of 0 to 5. And um, the lowest amount I can rate it is a half. So let's do this. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. Mmm. I mean, I've had that great Kool-Aid stuff in the mix before, but this, this soda Kool-Aid, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to drink all of it, because I need to prepare for the other two. Lemonade first. So let's do this. Carbonated lemonade. Oh yeah, and the Kool-Aid. I give it four and a half out of five stars. Lemonade. Hmm. Wow, that's really strong. I didn't know that. I didn't know that lemonade was that strong. Holy crap. Okay. Um. After you get over the fact that that Country Time mix stuff is very, very powerful, I say. Hmm, that's a tough one. Three and a half or four, I'm not sure. And then Gatorade. Fruit punch flavored Gatorade with carbonation. Here we go. Okay, two and a half on that one. Mm, just, just don't. Nope. I'm sorry, Gatorade. But, so the Kool-Aid is the winner at... Four and a half out of five. Lemonade comes in second at three and a half or four. I'm not sure which still. I'm gonna go for 3.75. And then the Gatorade, I'm giving like a two and a half because, yeah, uh, not so tasty. Okay, after that time lapse, even though I almost finished the lemonade, Got about halfway through the Kool-Aid, I am, like, stuffed. So, the final one in our challenge thingy is just plain soda water. Um, I know in Europe, all over, they drink this just as, like, a replacement for water, but I'm gonna rate this in comparison to water. So... Here we go. I have a feeling I might be regretting this by the end of the episode. But definitely try the Kool-Aid and the lemonade. I really like the lemonade. I really like the Kool-Aid. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a four for the lemonade. I, that's my final answer. But yeah, Gatorade, I just went to two and a half. Just, just don't even try that one. I mean, you can. But at least to me, it like the taste even just ruined the flavor of the other two. So here we go. Four ounces of pure salty water. First it was worse, then it got better, and then it went away without me swallowing. I don't know. This is like mystery water. I. What the heck? It happened again. It just it just went away. There's nothing in my mouth. I swear I didn't swallow. What the crap? That's super weird. Um, I don't know. Would I drink it in replacement for water? No. Would I drink it? Sure. Would I swallow it? Apparently it disappears before I can. So with that, I'm going to sum up the episode here, guys. And I will see you tomorrow, YouTube. Are you, are you